I think because a lot of people were trying to open up different accounts and then they were trying to do things illegally. And once their can got their account got banned, they would just jump on that other account. So they're like, okay, we're just going to give these people three months. And if they don't make it here, we're just going to delete them. So. What's going on, everybody? On YouTube and iTunes, Steve Rakin here, back with another episode of the Rakin Profit Show. Episode number 15, we have my good friend, Joe Clay, who's going to be talking about seven steps to $500 per month with a merch by Amazon Business. So what's going on, my main man? Just had a birthday. We don't have to throw out any numbers, but man, he hit a milestone. So happy to have him here. Oh, yeah, I hit that. 4-0. I'll tell everybody. I don't care. It's all good. It's going great. I had a great birthday yesterday. Actually, on Saturday, I went and got to go to the OU TCU game. And so I'm a big OU fan. So that was great. You know, so it's been it's been a great weekend. So yeah. Awesome, man. Well, glad to have you here and uh really, really excited to you to talk to you about merch by Amazon. We had a uh, uh, Margaret Texas Scout Treasures on earlier this week, last week, talking about merch by Amazon. So a lot of people have definitely been enjoying that. So let's let's talk about Merch by Amazon for the people who, who don't know what that is. Let's talk about what Merch by Amazon is, and maybe you could share your story as well in terms of how you got started making money. And I, I think you said you were doing about $500 a month. So uh, let's hear your story, man. Uh, yeah, Merch, what, what, what it is, Merch by Amazon, is, uh, you know, it's on Amazon. You're selling, right now, um, you can currently sell T-shirts, and recently they just added long sleeves, so you can sell shirts and long sleeve shirts. And that's all it is. You you make a design. Uh, you can make it on your you know your an, an app, you know a phone app. You can make it on the computer, you know a software or or if you're you're really technical and you're really a professional, you can make it on you know Adobe Illustrator or you know Design or whatever Photoshop. And you just make those designs. You upload them, whether they're text, they're text and graphics, you know whatever you want, you know a trending thing. You upload them, and then Amazon sells them for you. They're they're on the Amazon website and People can find your your products. You don't have to advertise. You don't have to do anything. It's really simple. There's no cost, really. There's no cost at all, really, if you don't want it to be. You just upload a shirt, and then when it sells, um, you you choose you choose your price. Amazon gives you a royalty. A royalty. Uh, most of I say my average is probably like uh, five to five to seven dollars. Uh, what I make every time a shirt sells, so pretty good. And uh, it's just up to you. And I started on merch by Amazon. Um, May of 2016, and when you start, start out, they start they they do it in tiers. So you start at like you, when I started, it was I started the 25 tier. Once you sell 25 shirts, you move on to 100, 500, a thousand, 2,000, and up. And I think as as high as I know somebody is, I think there's like eight to ten thousand tiers. I'm currently at the thousand tier, and so but it's taken me all last year and. I think it was in July where I finally reached the thousands here. So it's not a, a get rich quick scheme. You know, it's like a business. So you got to slowly build it and learn it. And so, you know, I started with making $13 a month and $50 a month. So now it's up to 500. So it, 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 you can see the progression that it is, it does build. It just takes time. And, you know, so many people now are so quick to jump in on merch today that they think they're going to be making money and they're not making sales right away. But I'm like, Hey, I've been on this over a year. It takes time. It's not going to be some quick thing. You know, you might get lucky with the trend, but usually it's going to take a time to build your business. What do you, what do you love most about merch by Amazon? Because I know you were, you know, you've been in different businesses from, from eBay to Amazon to, you know, creating products yeah. and Gumroad and different things about different things like that. A lot of different opportunities out there, but what specifically do you enjoy uh, about merch by Amazon? I enjoy just like the creative process. I really like making the designs, you know, and mm. just, you know, the graphic, finding the graphics and placing the words and just kind of like making it look cool and adding little, you know, little design elements here and there. And I, actually, I'm not even really, a, a, you know, a designer. I just, you know, just learned from this platform. I've grown and learned it. And I, I 
every day I'm reading and studying and trying to learn something new every day just about this platform and about design that I've just come just to love how to like make designs or put words together or find stuff that's trending. And that's, that's just fun for me now. So, so, and, and actually out of that was kind of the reason why uh, when I first started, there was hard, there was no videos. There was only a couple of, I think the only person that was doing videos was Glenn Zubia. <laughs> and you know, and his was, his was more of like, you know, this is how many sales I've had. And this is what I did this month, you know, but now, I mean, there's everything from design to strategies, to keywords, to titles, to graphics, anything you want to know. And that was one of the reasons why I started Merch University on Facebook is just like to interact with the community. So now we have a big, like, I think we have 4,000 people in wow. Merch University and just, we just like interact like crazy there and everybody just talks merch and, you know, that they would say, you know, my family doesn't get me, my friends don't get me, you know, but we come here, you know, we just talk and, you know, ask anything you want and, you know, we'll just, they'll just discuss. It's all, it's pretty much, it's pretty much 24 hours merch on uh, Merch University. So. Yeah, that's, it's definitely a cool Facebook group and it's free. So I'm going to link that up down below. Merch University Facebook group, also the Merch University YouTube channel as well. Uh, that's going to be linked up down below. So check that out. Is is that a shirt, a merch shirt that you designed? Is that a Merch University right there? Yeah, yeah it says Merch. Here, I'll show it to you. It says Merch University freshman year, you know. <laughs> uh, it's like our, it's like, you know, Merch University. Hey, come back to college, you know, so. And, and, and that's one of the cool things about this opportunity, you know, for someone out there who's looking to, you know, build a business that can make you a couple hundred dollars a month or even there's people making a couple thousand dollars a month plus, you know, within mm -hmm. three, six, nine, 12 months. I mean, it's a great opportunity uh, to make money, but also it's kind of cool because like you said, you can let those creative juices flow and you go from literally idea to designing it to uploading it to you're actually like building something that someone's actually going to buy and wear. And like, is it, what's it like knowing that there's like shirts that you've designed that people are walking around the real world wearing? Like, isn't it kind of weird just thinking about it? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually kind of weird, you know, cause I've, I've sold over 1300 shirts. So it's just crazy. I, the only time I've ever heard any story about anybody wearing a shirt is this girl was on a cruise and she made some kind of like shirt, a cruise shirt. And she saw a group wearing that shirt. She went up to him. She said, where'd you get that shirt? They said, Amazon. And she made that shirt. So what? And that's so that's like the only story crazy. I've ever heard about somebody seeing somebody wearing their shirt. So, so let's just dive into this right now. I, I came up with seven steps and uh, I'm going to kind of go through them with you from, you know, signing up for your merch account, choosing a niche, creating a design, outsourcing, creating listings, marketing promotion, and some advanced strategies. Let's just dive right into it and, and talk about step number one, which is signing up and, and getting approved for a merch by Amazon account. I think a lot of people who are watching, maybe they're used to eBay or Amazon where you can just sign up and you're approved and you're ready to go. But with merch by Amazon, it is a little different where there is an approval process, which can really range from anywhere from instant to a year just to get approved uh, to get access to sell on Merch by Amazon. So I want to put that out there. But let's talk about it. How does somebody sign up and then get approved? Any tips? What's the process? I'll just say it's pretty, uh, you go to like, you know, merch.amazon.com. You, when you go to sign up, all you do is you fill in your email and you fill in, it'll ask you if you want to, is this a, t is this like novelty or small business? I think I just selected small business. And then they ask you to put in like, a, what's the name of your company? When I just started, I didn't know what to put. I just put Joe's t-shirts, of course, you know, and I, I don't think it really matters. It just, they're just kind of like, they're just, you know, you're just trying to get in. And actually I signed up January of 2016. So it took me about four months to get in. Yeah. It took me a somewhat similar amount of time and I had gotten approved a while ago and then I made a mistake of well, I had gotten approved and then I never did anything with it for like three months and then they shut my account down. So then I had to apply on a different account and then it got approved. So if you do get approved, make sure to upload that first shirt, right? Because yeah. if you don't, they'll, I don't know why they're doing that, why they're shutting accounts down, but it's, I don't know, it's in a weird little phase right now with merch. So just get it in, get approved, get that first shirt up. I think because a lot of people were trying to open up different accounts and then they were trying to do things illegally, and once their can got their account got banned, they would just jump on that other account. So they're like, "Okay, we're just gonna give these people three months, and if they don't make a shirt, we're just gonna delete them." So let's talk about step number two, which is choosing a niche. And some of these might be a little bit out of order, 
But overall, I think it's going to give you guys a good idea of kind of moving in the right direction of selling that first shirt. But choosing a niche, what is a niche or a niche? People always give me a hard time. I don't know what the pronunciation is, but uh, I think it's a niche, but we can call it whatever. I don't care. Niche, we'll call, whatever. We'll call it niche to make the haters happy today. But <laughs> <laughs> how do you go about choosing a niche? Let's see. Uh, let's. Well, for example, you can do stuff that you know. So I know like communications or video uh, photography, you know, video production. And so I've sold plenty of shirts that have said film crew or video production team or, you know, just anything along those lines. Cause I, I know those shirts are even just stuff like I'm waiting for this to render, you know, stuff that's like video production that nobody, you know, if you don't know video production, you're like, what's render or whatever, you know? But if you, if you, I kind of know like the word inside words that people use for video production. So, um, you know, I'll kind of, I'll kind of do that, you know? So do you think it's best <laughs> to start with something that you're like passionate and knowledge about and dive deep into that because you kind of know the slang. I think, I think maybe cause I the, think maybe first, cause you, like, you first get like 10 design and I would say, and I would say, I would at least I would at least make one design and something that you know. But um, what but I've been telling what I've been telling the people the new the brand new people, people, people just start. I would say I would say make sure where people buy where people groups, buy in like group family like vacation family shirt. vacation you know, family, shirt. Shirt. No, family vacation shirt. they're gonna buy it all says family it all says family vacation 2018 okay I'm gonna okay I'm gonna I want to buy five of those go on Amazon go on Amazon go look oh this if you price if you price them really low like a lowest like the lowest price point eleven ninety four eleven ninety nine oh that's a oh that's a you know cheap price I'm gonna buy ten of those so they'll buy ten so they'll buy ten of those and so. You know, once you get your, you know, once you get your ten sales, you move up to the twenty-five tier, and once you get the twenty-five tier, to hundred tier. That's what you want. That, that's what you want right, what you want right away. Because the more, the, more um, the design um, slot you have, the better, you know. So, and so actually, I just been helping. Let me just, I might as well just get into this real quick. I started a series called um, Tier Ten, which was I would make ten designs, and I was trying to tell these these new guys like, hey, let's watch these ten designs and see how long it takes for me to get out of the 10 tier, you know, and I'm on the thousands here. Cool. So, so I made, I made these 10 designs and one design made like 35 sales in like 20 days. And so, but I had the haters. Well, and I mean, even though they were my friends, they knew me, they're like, Joe, you need to use an actual beginner account. I said, okay, I'll find one. So one of my friends, he just, it took him a year to get approved. He said, yeah, you can use my account for this little series you're doing. So currently I think we're on day 11 day 11 and his account i got his account to have eight sales so far which is taking most people two to three months to even get 10 so in 11 days i got him eight sales how cool and, is that and this, yeah it's way cool and this, the strategy that like i'm telling you right now there's a strategy right here it is right here make shirts that have to do with groups where people are going to buy in group uh wedding bride shirts you know like bachelorette parties or bride parties, family vacation shirts, school shirts, churches, you know, any type of local community groups, you know, ball, maybe even ball teams, you know? So that's where you started right there. I like that. Let's talk about steps three and four, which is either creating the design yourself or outsourcing it. Let's start with creating the design. Say somebody wants to create their own designs or a creative type person, they don't want to outsource. Um, how can people go about creating these these designs that are essentially going to be uploaded to Amazon and then you know printed on demand when somebody purchases it. So what do you use? What do you see other people using? What's the best way to get started with that? Um, actually, Amazon, they advertise like um, there's a, a free software called GIMP. And, and that's a free software people can go and they can make their designs and be able to upload them to, to merch. You know, that's like one if it's if you're looking for free. Actually, I heard people even use uh, what is it called? Uh, just yeah. like window window products, you know, like uh, oh, wow. photo slot. What do you call that when you projected the slideshow things? You know, right, right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. People are using that. People are using all kinds of software. You can use apps. There's some apps called Vintage Design App on the iPhone or the Over app. You can use those. Yeah, you can if you want to just do it on the computer. There's one called like PixLR. And then there's one that Margaret Texas Gal Treasure uses, and she uses Pick Monkey only, pretty much. I think now she's trying to use get into Illustrator, but if she's she's higher than me. I think she's at the two thousand tier, two thousand or four thousand tier, and she's done her her whole designs on PickMonkey.com. And so I, re I remember one time I think you shared with me or in 
in the green room or in a Facebook group and you were sharing how you were like on a train and you were just like making designs on, on an app and like, just like little like text designs and just like, the cool thing is you can create the designs via mobile device and like, you can be literally on a train creating designs. Like, do you do that often? You're like in a car, like obviously you're not driving, but like <laughs> screwing around and you're just like making designs. Yeah, I could be at, you know, airports or, you know, just wherever, you know, in my car at lunch or, you know, just sitting in my car going when I go to lunch or, you know, to sit there and make some designs and I'll uploading, I'll upload them right there and stuff. So yeah, that's happening. That's, I do that every day. So it's, it's cool. What are your thoughts on outsourcing designs merch by Amazon? Have you or do you know anybody who has had any uh, success outsourcing? And, and, and what are your thoughts on that? I think a, a lot. there's a lot of people who do outsourcing because they don't know the graphic design part of it. And so, you know, they'll find people on, you know, I think the lowest people I people do is on Fiverr or go, they'll go to Upwork or they'll go to um, any kind of, you know, graphic design, you know, right. places where they can hire people from, you know, foreign people or, or actually you can do that. Or, or also I think one of maybe the, one of the best things is if you want to buy designs, there's a lot of programs and people currently that are all towards merch and they make designs already and you just buy the designs. You're not buying a graphic designer, but you're buying designs from those little companies that they have. There's one called candy or something, right? Uh, yeah. Des design candy. Um, Travis yeah. Wren. Yeah, he's uh, he's really good. I've been work. I work with him, and you can just go to his site, sign up, and then you know pay the fee. And then I think for every every design you pay a fee, five or ten dollars, and then you can get your design, and they're ready to upload instantly. So, isn't there um, also? I don't know if you mentioned it. There's like subscription sites where you pay like a flat fee, and then you can get like as many as you want. There's one called uh, MakeMerch.com, and you can pay. I think it's twenty or thirty dollars a month. And then you can go in there and you can make that whole, you know, we pay monthly. So you can go in there and make a hundred designs if you want to. It's all the oh, graphics, wow. all the graphics are free and all the text, uh, everything is free. And you just go in there and make your, your own shirt, you know, put it, you put them together, you know, however you want. So, you can so, so Joe, let's say you've created your own design or you've outsourced it from some of the, um, you know, websites that we mentioned. You've got this design file right now, right? Of this thing. It can say, you know, I love Merch University, right? Mm -hmm. You do. Um, now, what's the process for creating a listing and getting that up on Amazon? It's, it's, it's actually really basic. Once you get to the website, it, it says like add a product, like right there on the front page. You know, so you upload, you add add a product, you click that. It just says find this file on your computer. You know, wherever you placed it, you just upload it like you're uploading a picture to Facebook or something. It uploads, and then the next step is you'll after you you see your shirt, you'll pick the colors. You get the five colors to choose from, and I think there's there's about 18 colors to choose from or 20 colors to choose from. And you get to choose your, the best five colors that you, you think are going to sell best, you know, what look good with that design. And then after that, you, um, you come up with a brand name, you come up with the, the, the brand name could be, you know, it could be your own brand. If you want, it could, you know, it could be something related to that niche of your shirt, the title. I usually like, if I was making this shirt, I would just put, Merch University freshman year t-shirt, you know, just so that's pretty much all I put. And then there's like two bullet points in the description and the bullet points you can, you know, you would kind of relate it to your shirt. You know, it's, it's the easiest way I can think of is like you put what, uh, what's an alternative way you would search for your shirt without using your title, you know, like college, you know, merch stuff, you know, whatever, any, anything you were keywords, you were right. keywords. Key, keywords surrounding that title of your shirt. Yeah. You know, so, you know, like say, say if you put like a, uh, a Christmas tree t-shirt or whatever, but maybe yeah. on the bullet point you'd put like maybe like holiday season tree or something, you know, another way that people are going to look for that type of shirt. Now, one thing to mention as well is you want to, you want to be careful with using certain keyword terms, right? Because there are copyright yeah. infringements and various uh, trademarks, right? That you don't want to violate. Talk about that really quick. I would say before you even are looking for a design, uh, I would say most of the design services are pretty ca careful about, you know, checking first before they upload the, one of those, but it's oh, you always want to double check, you know, go to like USPTO or tmhunt.com and type in the phrase that you want to use for your title, for your bullet point, and just make sure those words aren't trademarked. And that's just a, that's just good to good be a, good to be on your end, you know. So, 
What you don't want to put anything. Yeah, no, definitely. You don't want to get stuck in that trap where you get that email from, from Amazon saying, well, I don't know. I've never gotten one before, but I know people have gotten suspended and kicked off or maybe their shirt just gets pulled, right? They take it yeah. down for, so you don't want to be in that position. So, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, Joe, yeah. let me ask you, what do you do for marketing and promotion for your merch shirts, if any? Because, you know, that is one of the benefits to doing merch by Amazon versus like Shopify, right? Because in my Shopify store with my shirts, I'm going to drive all the traffic through Facebook ads and email marketing and various things like that, influencer marketing. You know, are you doing any marketing promoting for for your merch shirts or are you letting Amazon just, you know, you know be the biggest, baddest dude <laughs> in town and just promote all your stuff? I would say pretty much 99% of that time, I'm just, uh, it's just letting Amazon organically people find my shirts. I, did, I don't know if I, I didn't mention the fame bit yet, have I? Um, no, you have, we were talking about it before the show. Yeah, before the show. Okay, so there's one thing I'm going to try that I heard somebody did last year, and they paid a YouTuber through famebit.com. This is where you find a YouTube influencer. So, I, you know, say I find Steve. Steve's on there, and he, you know, I promote, I put my proposal, Merge University, and Steve goes, hey, I want to promote your shirt. So, like, I'll pay Steve a fee. He'll be like, hey, I got this shirt here, and he's, and he's promoting it for me. And through that, his followers are buying my shirt. So this person that I know that did that, they spent $250 on their YouTuber, and they actually made $1,000 in sales through that. So, they, you know, they, they made some money, you know? Dude, we should do an experiment, man. And so this is my – yeah, so this is my experiment. I'm trying to go through a YouTuber now to find a shirt to sell this uh, one of my shirts that I want to um, advertise. So. Dude. So this is the first time I've ever done that. And actually, if you want to follow me, I got an exclusive <laughs> account that I'm do um, I, I did in my first episode of actually the YouTuber I'm going to pick and the shirt that I'm going to show. Oh, that's cool. And anything you want to see about that and kind of follow my journey through this because it's the first time I've ever so done that's it. On, so. That's on Patreon. How do people follow you? Just patreon.com uh, forward slash Merch University. All right, so we'll link that up down below if you guys want to check that out as well. Yeah, so. and what that is is more like an exclusive stuff. If you want to, like, I'll show you, I'll actually show you shirts that I've sold and just kind of, like, explain why they sold and, you know, and it, just to get on that feed, it's $5 a month. So, you know, it, it's just more uh, exclusive, and there's only 15, 15 people on there right now. So it's, we're, like, they're a really tight group, so it's not, we just started this month, so it's cool. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds, sounds really cool. I like stuff like that, like live case studies. I think there's a lot of value um, in things like that. Now, let me ask you, everyone always wants to know like advanced strategies and, and, and ways to get more sales. If you had to give some advice for somebody who wants to get more sales or somebody who just wants, I don't know, something that's working really well right now, what would you say to them? I would say advanced strategies. I would just tell them to, you know, stick to, you know, actually what's always worked for me is selling holiday shirts you know all the seasons i follow them them and i if they're i didn't i know they're upcoming you know you already know when christmas is going to be here and thanksgiving and i just stay on top of that and those have been my really big sellers is holidays you know or even like minor holidays like you know that are not really big or promoted i'll even make shirts for them and, and those will sell too so I, I would say stick with holidays and th don't just put Christmas tree or whatever, you know, Christmas tree or, you know, I would say, you know, find something, Christmas. find something that, you know, add, adds to that, get a niche and a niche and, you know, combine them, you know, like pug Christmas or, so, you know, your dog or your pets and your, Chris, you know, whatever breed and plus Christmas or whatever and, or anything with sports related, you know, sports basketball. Actually, I was in McAllister's. Um, eating last Tuesday and I saw this um, like a group of college kids because there's two colleges here in my town and this one guy had a sweat sweatshirt on and it was uh, a Santa Claus but he was like in a in baseball you know he was like oh, you yeah. know he was outfitted for baseball you know he had a glove and he was like a catcher and I was like that's so cool I was like that's that fits it that fits like what you want to do you know because people don't want to buy that Hey, this is a baseball Santa guy, you know. So that baseball guy was wearing that, so it's pretty cool. Wow, that's a, that's a great tip. Now I have, I have a question for you, Joe. Are you ready for some rake and profit rapid fire? Questions? Yes, yeah, I am. 
Are you? You better sit up on your seat, man. Get that oh, chest up, shoulders. Let's do this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you like 15 seconds each question to answer it. So you're going to have to do the best you can to just abbreviate your answers. What's one of your best success stories to date? One of my best success stories to date is I've sold 170 uh, shirts for, or just one of my shirts has sold that many times. Wow. Holy mackerel. That's amazing. Who's this business for and who's this business not for? I would say this business is for anybody just looking for the opportunity at zero cost. You don't have to pay any money to join Amazon. It doesn't cost you any money to sign up, anything. Who it's not for is someone who can't wait and they're impatient and they want sales immediately. This is a, a business and it's going to take time to grow it. Best way to get started? Sign up. <laughs> I like it. I like it. What's one thing that used to work really well, but isn't working as well anymore? I think just trying to do the basic and on the top stuff and not niching down, just staying Christmas trees only and not doing Christmas baseball. Biggest mistake you see new merch by Amazon sellers making? Trying to sell trademark stuff and not looking your stuff up, getting rejections and getting suspended and getting terminated. What's the number one routine that you follow in your Merch by Amazon business that allows you to make money from it? Research first and, you know, and look at those trademarks. Sustainability and long-term long growth. Is this business going to be around in a couple more years, three years, five years? What are your thoughts? I was looking up Zazzle. You probably heard of that company. That company has been around for 12 years. And, you know, Jeez. compare that to Merch, you know, and Amazon, you know, you got Merch is, you know, is, is held by uh, Amazon. I don't think Amazon's going anywhere anytime soon. This is a really important one. How are you 40 and I'm 30, but you have a better set of hair than I do? I'm um, just, I got that Native American hair, you know? <laughs> <laughs> final, final words of wisdom, last question on here. Final words of wisdom for somebody who wants to get involved in this opportunity. They want to start making some extra money. They understand it's not a get rich scheme. It takes time. You know, it's going to take patience. Like, What's the best advice for somebody? They want to get started. Maybe they've already started. Like, what are your thoughts? I would say join, you know, if you're not part of any groups or, or I would say not only groups, but if you're not watching any video, like even myself, like there was a time where like I kind of stopped watching videos, but then I was like, man, I got to start watching videos. So I think one of the first videos I started watching, I was like, oh man, this guy had like all this information and more tips and just, it just got me excited. Uh, to even want to do more research and look out and, you know, just get involved more. So who are your favorite merch by Amazon people to watch or podcasts or Facebook groups, anything that comes to give out a shout out to Texas gal treasures, Margaret. She puts out videos like every day about merch, pretty much uh, uh, podcasts, merch minds. There's another guy I talked to. His name is RJ Martinez. He puts out great content. You can check him out. There's these guys called, Merch Empire, they're from New Jersey, Jersey guys, and they're just, they're just, those guys are just real, you know, they'll put out some great information. So I follow all those guys. Awesome. And also, like I said before, be sure to check the description for the Merch University Facebook group and the Merch University uh, YouTube channel alongside with Joe Clay's Patreon account. If you're looking for some bonus information, his, his, his new case study, that's going to be happening. Definitely check that out below. There's only 15 people in it, so it's a small type knit group but uh joe man want to thank you so much for coming on episode number 15 of the rake and profit show to share with people you know how to make their first 500 dollars a month and get started so definitely appreciate it man any anything else you want to say to the folks who are listening and watching just keep at it and you know it takes some time but there's a lot of opportunities there for you and actually if you you're already eagerly and want to jump in this business there are a lot of other platforms you can just sign up and start today you know there's Teespring, there's Etsy Printful integration, you know, there's Redbubble, there's T-Chip, you know, there's a lot of them, you know, just like you said, you know, if you sign up, you can start that day. And there's those that you can, you can start today, you know, if you want to, while you're waiting to get in merch, you know. All right, my man. Well, thank you so much for, for coming on the show. Really appreciate your time, Joe. I know there's so many other things you'd be doing right now, but for coming on and helping everyone, very, very grateful. For the people who are watching right now on YouTube, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. If you're listening on the podcast over at rakeandprofit.com slash iTunes, be sure to leave some honest feedback. 
and, and definitely would, would appreciate appreciate a rating over there over on the podcast. But uh, thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you in next week's episode and have an amazing day. Thanks again. Thanks, Joe.